The first goal with any data science project obviously is to get the data. RapidMiner provides various data access operators in the data access group here or if you are trying to read a simple search for the word will provide you a list of various places that RapidMiner can read the data from. In this case however since the data is in a CSV file rather than using a reads CSV operator I am going to import the data using the wizard which makes it easier. We are going to first look at our 2007 data set. Everything seems correct so far in this screen. We'll go ahead. I know my CRS departure time is of the type time and its format is hour, hour, minute, minute. So I'm going to specify that and the same goes for my CRS arrival time. So we'll change that to uh, other columns seem to be fine. So we are going to hit next here and specify a location. I'm going to save it in the data folder with the name flights 2007. We could rename it later if needed and hit finish. At this point, RapidMiner goes ahead, pulls the data and it's importing it into its own repository. We'll eventually repeat the same workflow for the 2008 flight data. Once the data set are loaded, our first task is to explore the data. So I'm going to right click and hit open. That will open up the data set for us to review. Here I have the raw data set itself obviously I could scroll through and see the details but I can quickly switch over to the statistics tab. Your rapid miner provides a quick summary of the data that we have so obvious things like the name of the columns, the data types, if there are any missing values it seems uh, quite a few in some columns. Uh, depending on the column type other details like you know minimum, maximum, deviations and a distribution chart. For now I'm going to focus on the origin column here so we can search for the origin column and I quickly see that there are about 300 odd airports my top airport is ATL followed by ORD ORD is in Chicago which uh, has weather issues so we will focus on ORD for now so along with that uh, there are also some data points in here which are about delayed or cancelled or diverted flights so we're going to get rid of that data uh, since they may influence our model in the incorrect fashion. So let's go ahead and take those corrective actions first. So I go back to the design tab. Uh, what we're going to use now is rapid minor operators. These operators are small units of functionality that you can add to build a workflow. So my first step is bring in the 2007 data set itself and then we can look for operators to start filtering out the data set. So if I want to filter examples, filter rows, I can bring in that operator and then I can start specifying my condition here on the right. So in this case, we are going to say origin equals ORD, or I could have just picked it from the list that is available here. Also, I want to ensure that we are not looking at canceled and diverted flights. So the flag for that is a zero, and we'll specify that as the value and hit okay. So by doing this, I have set up necessary condition. I can do and, or, and so on. We're going to now focus on our goal. So for the departure delay, I see that the average value is around 11. So we'll consider anything above 15 as a delayed flight. Also at the same point, you'll notice my arrival and departure time are including minutes. So I probably want to uh, round it up to the hours. So let's go ahead and do that in the design tab. RapidMiner provides various operators for generating new columns from existing columns. The most powerful one is the generate attributes where you can write expressions. So I bring in that and we'll first specify the delay flag. So I'm going to specify if condition, if my departure delay flag is greater than, let's say 15, then it's delayed. Otherwise it's considered on time. And we'll hit OK. We'll call it the delay flag. Uh, similarly, for the hour, I'm going to get a function called as date underscore get. Our column of interest is CRS arrival time, and I need to extract the hour part of it. So we'll include that, and this will be my arrival hour. We will repeat this for the departure hour. So Let's go ahead and do that, CRS departure time and the hour part of it will be called 
departure hour and hit apply. Uh, at this point, we probably don't need to generate any new columns for now, so we'll be good here. Now let's focus on the columns that we probably are going to use for our analysis. Uh, some columns we obviously know are not going to be useful. So looking at uh, the list, I can select which columns I want to use. So to do that, we'll go back to the design tab again, and we will use an operator called as select attributes and provide. Notice RapidMiner provides some automatic ways to get rid of group of columns or remove useless columns or correlated columns based on deviations or uh, other logics. But for now, I'm going to specify which columns to exclude. So we'll specify subset and we will start selecting our columns or I will hour is good we want day of week day of month may be important later so we'll keep it I want departure hour destination obviously is important a flight number maybe I don't care month is important origin is important and carrier is important and the year is important too later on for with combining with the weather data so we have created the workflow to get the raw data get rid of our diverted, non-diverted, non-canceled flights from OHAIR, generate a few new columns and select appropriate columns that we want to use. I could attach some notes here to kind of guide somebody who's going to use this later on and we'll talk about collaboration a bit later. But the idea is I could attach note to individual workflows or specific roles. Our next part is telling RapidMiner which target column so we use the set rule operator to do that. I can specify my delay flag is my label, that is my target. I can specify additional roles like IDs, predictions, cluster, etc. if needed. But for now, this should be good. At this point, I should be able to store this data set, which is my ORD data set. We are going to save it in this ORD folder here and specify the location as data ORD 2007 flights and hit OK. I can simply run the workflow and then the results will be available. But before we do that, since we are going to repeat this set of steps for 2008, I'm going to select them, move them into a new sub process, basically grouping them. And then I'm going to save this as a building block so that I can easily use all those three steps again in my 2008 data prep. So we are going to say data prep for flights data. So to repeat that, what I can simply do is we can bring in the 2008 flight data. I'm going to use the sub process like we did before. I could have copy pasted or we're going to use that insert building block like I said earlier. So that takes in the input of the data set and we can then store it again as 2008 ORD data set. So a lot of emphasis on reusability and shareability. These building blocks can be shared across a broader community on community.rapidminer.com. So let's save that workflow so that we can go back if needed and we'll call this prep flights data. Now that we have the data set for 2007 flights, let's go ahead and explore it further. I'm going to filter this out to only my delayed flights so that we can see what affects. So I can simply say delay flag is equal to delayed and hit OK. Once I run this workflow, I can go back to my charts view and we can explore the data in various visual formats here. Rapid Manor provides various rich capabilities. For now, if I stay with the histogram, uh, for month, obviously, I see the month of December, the month of February, there seems to be a pattern emerging. These are winter months, high travel seasons, obviously, kind of affects uh, the delays. Uh, day of the month, nothing really great day of the week again some patterns but nothing concrete if i look at it from uh, arrival hour perspective or a departure hour perspective obviously you see a very clear trend that the departure hour and arrival hour influences uh, delays seem to be kind of increasing at towards the end of the day 